I'm Abigail, and today we're going to talk about how to darn your socks. If you have wool socks like these are, the wool often rubs off in the heels especially. They're pretty easy to fix. So all you need is some yarn. I brought yarn that matches exactly, but just for the purposes of the video and also because they're my socks and I can do whatever I want with them, I brought some contrasting yarn and this is a darning egg. The darning egg kind of mimics the shape that a heel actually would be in there. So I'm gonna take my yarn. So we're gonna thread the needle, which is always a little challenging. We got it. To start with here, you're gonna end up making a square around your hole, like maybe like a quarter of an inch on either side to make sure that the stitches that we grab are not falling apart and not gonna like become part of the hole. So we're gonna start over like, you know, like a quarter or half an inch on the outside, both directions. And pick, pick up. And then we're gonna go across like that, like kind of draw if you look at the stitches and knitting, they go this way and this way. So we're gonna go this way, and we're gonna go over and under, kind of picking up over one stitch, under another stitch, over and under. And in the actual knit, the part that still is knitted, it's kind of easier. So you're gonna pull it across, and then it's gonna look like that, like you can see, it's like it's almost the stitches. Now on your way back, you're gonna try to go under the ones you went over. So it's like a very simple weave. You just go over the ones you went under and under the ones you went over. So now here we are in the actual hole. We're gonna make sure we pick up stitches that are a couple stitches away from the hole. So, and then we're coming back this way. It's, it doesn't have to be an exact science. So we're going to come across here and there's kind of threads going both directions and you're just gonna try to catch some of them, go over some, go under some across the hole, and then back into the stitch part of the sock. So now we have, I've done back and forth this way, the whole hole and a little deeper than the hole, a little past it and started a little before it. And I went, you know, just zigged and zagged back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And now I'm going to start going up and down. And when I go up and down, I'm going to try to go over and under the threads that I just sewed across. So I'll do a few there. And And again, I'll go like a little past. Then you're gonna, yeah, go just a little one stitch over and then pick it up. Now I'm gonna go under the one I went over, and over the one I went under. Doesn't really matter for this part because we're still in the sock, not in the hole. So I'm filling in because I finished the whole hole and now I'm filling in. There's like just like a couple places where I put them a little too far apart. So I'm coming back so you can see what it looks like. I've woven that way and now I'm weaving this way. I'm just going over and under, over and under all the threads. And I'm just, yeah, catching it over here, coming back. over and under and over and under. And basically, that's all you do. It's just you've made, there was nothing here and now there's a big patch. Well, let's take out the, take out the darning egg. 
And now I've got a purple patch on the bottom of my sock. In order to finish it off, and you can finish the, the beginning one too. This is the same thing you do if you knit a sweater. You never just like tie off wool um, in a knot. You just sort of weave it in and then kind of weave it back in on itself. And then you're gonna just cut it. Voila!